We're going to bring it on back, people. Come on back. Y'all come in. Come on back now, you hear? To another episode of the Kinky Christian Podcast. Somebody clearly needs a nap. Bring it on in. Or some food. I need some food, yes. <laughs> it is time. Let's do this. I am your host, Pat. And with me again, my beautiful, lovely kitten wife slave. Kitten. <laughs> Food. We should have snack time on here, but no, that's okay. I don't no. want I don't want to eat in your ear. So BDSM power exchange. Sex or not. Absolutely. That's what we're discussing. <laughs> you just jump right to an answer. <laughs> Okay, if you had your choice, a shower would end with a happy ending. Yes. You would you would go pee and want a happy ending. Yes. You'd get up and get dressed and want a happy ending. Before I got dressed. No, you'd want it before and after. Yes. <laughs> Everything would end in sex. Well, duh. You should move to England. Essex. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're uh, so punny. I know. So, is BDSM and power exchange relationships sex or not? Simple answer. It's up to you. End right. of episode, right? Yep. We'll we're talk done. to you later. Yep. Well, peace. <laughs> we're gone. <laughs> Time for dinner. <laughs> Time for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> no, so that it really it sounds like a strange thing, but there. I have noticed lately on a lot of the Facebook boards that we're on where that's a huge question going around. Can you have a non-sexual BDSM or Dom sub encounter? And I mean, in reality, the simple answer is of course you can. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't have to be sexual. Correct. Now, that being said, in my opinion, and in just my opinion only, it is very intimate. Because there's a lot of trust involved. Correct. And for trust to be there, trust, intimacy, you, you can't have into some intimacy without trust. And, and having that kind of trust in someone in a situation like that can create intimacy. It can, and that's why... And um, don't confuse intimacy with sex. Correct. This is like heart heartstrings. Yes. And that's where um, a lot of subs get confused. I, I can only speak from a sub perspective. Talk to um, me, kitten. Give it to me. But, you know, we're laying it all out there. And we're trusting the dominant to protect us and to um, respect our boundaries and to provide us what we need, be that an escape or um, pain or sensual or, I mean, we can have a, a physical release of an orgasm. Um, without Any them, sexual, without them, yes, without them, with the uh, contact, yeah, no fingers, mouse, penis, nothing like that. Um, but when you have that with another person, I I think that it's um within the realm of. You're going to start having emotions for this person to some degree because you're giving yourself to them. You're giving trust to them. I don't know if Dom's experienced that same type of intimacy 
Um, because, and I could be 100% wrong, and please, if I am, let me know. But I think that the trust that is expected um, isn't necessarily reciprocal. So um, I think that it's easier for the Dom to not have those um, emotions that get tied to a submissive. Would you agree? I think, yes, I, I would. I would agree 100%. And I think it's because it's not that the Dom doesn't have to have trust because the Dom does have to have trust. We have to trust that if we go too far, you use that safe word. Yes. That, that is, that is huge, you know? Um, however, because of the difference in relationship, as far as, um, this is going to sound like a stupid analogy, but it, it's really kind of, kind of similar. So like, and, and please don't hate me for this. <laughs> I, I know <laughs> people are going to get upset and say, oh, you're comparing that. So like with your garbage, you, the people putting their garbage out have a much bigger trust and connection, hoping that this garbage man is going to pick up their garbage because if they don't, this garbage is just going to continue to pile up. The garbage man picking it up, it's just a job to him. Mm -hmm. He's just picking up everyone's garbage and moving along. Mm -hmm. it, it does not affect him near as much. If he doesn't pick up your garbage, he's going to go home and sleep that night and be just fine. Whereas you're like, crap, now we got all this garbage. What am I going to do about it? Oh, so, my goodness. Yes, that is a horrible analogy. But what, <laughs> what I'm saying is that... That's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. But what I'm saying is, is there's more investment on our part when we put our garbage out than it is on the <laughs> on the garbage man. Anyway, all right. Let's just forget forget I even talked oh about that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> let's not worry about that. You and your analogies. That's well, worth that's the worst one ever. <laughs> it just came to me. It was it was inspired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, forget about the garbage. Oh, oh, okay. What I'm trying to say is we we as doms are I mean, we do get attached to the subs. Don't get me wrong. There there is an attachment. However, because most doms that I am aware of, now there are those of there there's doms on the whole spectrum. So okay. you can't, you know, the ones that I am aware of and have had interaction with, unless they are already intimate with that sub, don't feel that intimate attachment as quickly or as deeply. Because that's why, I don't know if you noticed, you have professional doms. I don't think I've ever seen a professional sub. It's always the sub who is looking for that someone to dominate them. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know that. I don't I think, you know, it, it, a dom yeah. never goes out looking for a professional sub, you know, to have that attachment with, to have that, you know, it's always the sub looking for that dom because they their their desires are different than what the doms is, you know? Their desire is for the the pain and the release and the, you know, euphoria. Yeah, and focus, the and sentiment, yeah. We, the doms are the ones who are providing a service yeah. to the sub. I mean, even in our relationship, I am providing a service to you. I, I mean, that is reciprocal. I understand that, but, but different. But I am, I'm not getting beat. I mean, I'm not going into subspace. 
I'm the, you know, you know what I mean? Right. The service is actually me providing it to you, the physical service part of it. Correct. Right? Correct. And when we do our scenes, most of them are non-sexual. Correct. The vast majority. However, because we are already in a relationship, our relationship is sexual. Even though the scene may not be, our relationship is. Correct. So like when people ask, can you have a scene with a dom and it not be sexual, most of those that are asking that are ones who are seeking out they like it would be if we were married and i was not your dom but you needed something and i'm like okay well i can't give that to you you can seek it out somewhere else so you would find a professional dom just to supply that part that i cannot give to you i can give you the sexual part so you're not seeking the sexual part does that make sense does it have to be a professional well, no, just someone to give it to you. Okay. You know. I, I just needed to clarify. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, you would seek out just that part. Because there's no sex involved. Now, from a Christian standpoint. Oh, I'm not saying we would do that. From a To me, from a Christian standpoint, you are now stepping outside the marriage in an intimate way. Even because, if you allow it as the husband. Correct. Because it's not about what I allow, it's about what God allows. But if there's no sex involved and... There's still there's intimacy no... involved. It, it kind of runs along the same line as when Jesus said, you know, if you even look at someone with lust in your heart, you've already cheated in your heart. Okay. For instance... When we had our troubles in, in the online affair and that, mm -hmm. there was no physical sex involved. Okay. Same, same principle applies. So in a Christian relationship, my opinion from my education, what I've read on the Bible and everything, you should not seek that out outside the marriage. From a Christian standpoint, and I am Christian, and you're a Christian, you know. And this is a Christian podcast. This is a cr so. Christian podcast, so. I mean, it should be addressed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So from a Christian standpoint, you should not seek it outside the marriage. If you are single and you do not want to have sex with somebody, but you would like this part of your life, you know, because for some people, it's not when we do our scenes they're not sexual and it, it half the time I know, I know there are times when you're like oh yeah i was throbbing and you know mm -hmm. but half the time it doesn't even get sexual for you no it's just that release it, it's really not i'm gonna use a better analogy for you hopefully it's not much different than going to a massage therapist and them just giving you that massage that your body needed because as a sub you have told me numerous times your body needs this it it it's like a chiropractic adjustment mm -hmm. or you know a tooth cleaning or you know a visit to your therapist you need certain things mm -hmm. and it's not that your body is desiring the sex part of it it just needs that beating it needs to have that. It needs the the pain, right. not necessarily the beating, but the pain yeah. to have that mental, emotional release, release and to be able to, because I have to control everything, to be able to not, you know, just escape and right. not have control. And of not anything. feel like you have to. Right. Yeah. I know that I can safely just let go of everything and let you control. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we do have scenes specifically designed to end with sex. Or yeah. are sexual throughout the Or thing. sexual throughout the scene. Right. But that is gone into it with the intention of there being sexual play. That's part of the negotiation aspect. Correct. Mm -hmm. But 
BDS, even power exchange. You can have a dom sub power exchange without sex. It, mm-hmm. It's a matter of what you're desiring to get out of the relationship. Yeah. If you're desiring a sexual relationship, then you're going to want to have sex, whether it be during a scene, after a scene, on a weekend, you know, in the car, whatever. Mm-hmm. But BDSM and power exchange can. One hundred percent, be done and be done well, without any kind of sex involved at all. Yes. Some people, as slaves, just want to serve. They want to be told what to do, because that feeds something in them. Yeah. So, and the, it doesn't have to be sexual. You can say, you know. Mop the floor. Mm-hmm. I, and it's not, they, they just don't want to be, hey, if you get time, can you mop the floor today? No, they want to be told, slave, mop the floor now. Yeah. You know, some people, there are slaves that like to be used as furniture. Mm-hmm. It, it's just a matter of what you're desiring out of the relationship. But by all means, know that it does not have to be sexual if you don't want it to be sexual. Agreed. Agreed. And forget all about garbage. And for me. For you? Forget about the garbage for you? No. I'll take the garbage out. That second analogy was much better. Was it? Well done. Okay. Does that make up for the garbage, man? Not even close. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, it just came to me. I thought, you know, it kind of worked, you know, because I was no. trying to... Well, because I was trying to show how one side has different desires and, and needs perspectives. and perspectives, and the other side, it doesn't affect as much. I I can see that, but, but no. no. Okay. Well, like I said, wipe it from your minds. That never happened. <laughs> This is not the garbage you're looking for. You seriously need food. (laughs) I need a Snickers. You need a Snickers. (laughs) A Snickers and maybe you need a beating tonight. No. I am definitely not Switch at all. I know. You act like so disappointed. You know. If you want to be beating on someone else, then... (laughs) Then we need to find our third, who is really hard to find. Well, that's that's another whole that's episode. That's another whole episode uh, yeah. that we don't want to do because we want to make sure that it's... We're educated. Aided, educated, because our perspective is not necessarily... Correct. Correct. Yes. And I know that our perspective gets a lot of... A lot crap, of... Crap. Slack. We get, yeah, we get mentally, not mentally, verbally abused a lot. So, you know, not everyone's going to agree with us, and that's fine. We don't agree with everyone else. Yeah. You know? and I'm that's, very open about what I think. So, well, and that's fine to be open with what you think. It just be nice about it. We don't have to agree. We don't have to agree on everything. We don't have to agree on anything. And I'll be nice about it. Up until the point. It's time to not be nice. Yep. So anyway, squirrel. Kitten. And you notice we're sitting opposite this time because she keeps complaining that the dragons bite her. So she made me move to the other side. I made you? Well, you suggested it. I was going to (laughs) say, I can't make you do squat, master. you are correct. I was trying to help you out here. You're trying to help me out? Since you can't beat me. Oh, I mean, I can. Every time we get a new toy. You get to try it. I get to try it. I think we need to go shopping. No. No. Oh, dang it. (laughs) So, anyway. Sexual or not? Yes. Yes, it's sexual and it's not. Do it how you want to do it. So, until next time, take care of yourselves, each other, and God bless. Say goodbye, kitten. Bye, kitten.
I'm gonna keep doing that, aren't you? I am. Okay.